Papusa. Hi, it's Tuesday, and you're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show us Tuesday. Try me something tasty. Sometimes it works. Will it work this week? I don't know. It seems pretty hard. We're making pupusas. I don't know if that's how you say it, but how I say it is really fun, so I'm gonna keep saying it that way. Pupusas. They get requested a lot on my channel, and I've hesitated on making them because I hear they take a long time to make and are really hard to make, so that scares me because I like things that are easy, take less time, and are tasty. So this lowers my chances. However, when I looked at the ingredients, I found that I had most of them in my pantry already, and god damn it, I'll make it. You win! Anything else I wanted to say? No? I hope it's tasty, that's all. Let's make this dish. Step one, we're going to prep our vegetables. Something I learned recently and have been implementing. I'm also gonna attempt to use this knife that cut the shit out of my finger and I'm scared, but I'm doing it because today we can't be scared. We're making something very hard and risks need to be taken. Since I'm having this recipe, we're doing a fourth of a green bell pepper. Take the sticker off. We're dicing it. How do I do this? Just guessing. This knife is so sharp. Holy shit. I feel like if I was writing a movie, that would be foreshadowing to like a disaster involving a knife. Not a foreshadow. Please, life, be kind. Oh, so sharp. So scared. Now we need an eighth of a small onion. This onion is not small. And to do an eighth, I don't even know. I'm just gonna cut like a chunk out and chop it. Yep, we're adapting in the kitchen. That's what we do, professional. Oh my gosh, I think people were right when they said if you have a sharp enough knife, onions don't hurt. Oh my goodness, thank you. Hey, thank you. You are so sweet. Also, I want you to know I kind of learned how to cut an onion. Hashtag humble brag. Oh my god, I'm doing such a good job. Whoa, look at this job. Oh my god, look. I just, can I just for a second stay away? Yes. Oh, thank you. We're also gonna do a fourth cup of chili peppers. I couldn't find chili peppers, so I'm using seeded jalapeno peppers, which we need to seed and then chop. Do it. Fourth a cup of jalapenos has been chopped. Now what? Next, we're gonna take a saucepan and put a fourth a cup of corn oil in it. We're gonna heat it on medium high heat. Get hot. And then once that's heated, we're gonna fry our onions in it. So exciting. So much to look forward to. A lot of back padding today. Oh, there we go. That was an adrenaline rush for the day. My life is boring. Fry these onions up until they're golden brown. But while that's happening, we're gonna add three fourths a cup of red kidney beans to a blender. Three fourths a cup, come on. Bean juice everywhere. It's as gross as it sounds. Beans, multitasking. Also one fourth cup of water. Oh, that's it, okay. We're gonna blend it for one minute. Go. One minute seems like a really long time. Are you done? Next it says to take the onions out with a slotted spoon. I don't have a slotted spoon because I was unaware of this step. So I think I'll try a regular spoon. Probably Samzy's, right? Right? Everyone stay calm. Probably didn't need to dice the onions this small because I think they're going into a blender. Damn it, just wanna do a good job. Okay, I think I got most of the onions out. Now we need to take our bean mixture and carefully put it Stir it into the hot oil. Careful, who thinks of this? Okay, and turn the heat to medium low. Next, we're gonna add the onion that we just cooked into a blender. Get in there, thank you. Also, three fourths more cup of beans. Cups of beans, cup of beans. And another fourth cup of water. Then we're gonna liquefy that for a minute. All right, good enough. Now we're gonna add this to the mixture that's already cooking. Wow. It's like science. Okay, stir that until there's no oil left in your pan. You're doing great. Get out. No, I'm in the shower. You're ruining everything. This doesn't turn out. Wait, you're leaving. How are you gonna taste these? You ain't even gonna try really my pupusas? You don't Canadian want my pupusas. I don't want your pupusas, trust me. You want my pupusas? Well, I had your pupusa last night, but Wow. TMI, Steve Green. Thanks. Well, I've had plenty of pupusa. How about some kabusa? <laughs> Get out. I'm sorry for the dad joke. Okay, once the oil is completely gone from your pan, we are going to turn the heat up to medium until it turns three shades darker, like the consistency of refried beans in a can. Got it? Stir every five minutes, motherfucker. Dude, we are doing such a good job. Check it out, check it out, check it out. I feel like this has gotta be right. This to me looks like refried beans from a can. Right? Aren't you? I'm gonna go with yes. Okay, next step. Now into a food processor or a blender, we're gonna put a pound and a half of shredded mozzarella cheese, our bell peppers that we chopped, and our 
jalapenos. And we're just gonna pulse that until our jalapenos and bell peppers are in, chopped into tiny little pieces and fully incorporated into the cheese. Big words. Let's do this. Incorporate. You get a lot of tax breaks if you incorporate. You want that. Get it, bell peppers, get it. I feel like it's kind of working. Needs a little help. Who doesn't need a little help? This smells amazing. Okay, I think that's good, right? That looks good. Everybody's doing a good job. Everybody in this room is doing a good job. This is Franklin, my sous chef. If you're new here, he's very picky about food, so sometimes he yells at me. Uh -huh. Now we're gonna put our cheese mixture into a microwave safe bowl. Spoilers! We're gonna put our cheese mixture into the microwave for no more than 20 seconds. Maybe we should start with 15, just to be safe, because we're doing pretty good so far. Good plan, Nikki. Thanks, Nikki. Okay, that was 20 seconds. Okay, I feel like our cheese is as putty-like as it's going to be. We're gonna set that aside and work on our masa mix. Yeah, what do we do for that? Premature celebration. Eat a bowl, get a bowl. Smoke a bowl. Just kidding, I don't promote drugs. We're gonna do two cups of masa corn flour, one cup of warm water. We're just gonna stir this until it's fully mixed. That sounds easy. The masa should be very sticky, but should form an easy ball when rolled. If not, add water until it is sticky, but easy to work with. I feel like that's how I am. Sticky, but easy to work with. Don't get any sexual thoughts. I feel like I fucked up because this is not sticky at all. It's very dry. I'm gonna add some more water. It's sticky, but easy to work with. I'm just gonna mix it with my hands again because that was really fun. Oh, this is not even remotely sticky. Ah, ew. All right, getting stickier. It's working, it's working. I'm just gonna add like a little bit more water, like a teeny bit more water. I feel like overall you should add like a cup and a half of water. Okay, I feel like our masa mixture is now totally sticky, but easy to work with in a ball. Did it. We're done. Are we done? We're done. We're not done. Pupusa. I feel like that's like a magic trick word. Pupusa. It's done. It's not. Next, place an egg-sized ball of masa in your hand. It also helps to place a tiny bit of oil before doing this. Kind of oil. Corn oil? I have this. Okay, place a small amount of oil in your hand before you do it. Oh, gross. I really hate this. Egg-sized shape of masa mix. Now we're gonna press this out to represent the size of a small plate, the size of your palm. Super easy, this is really easy. This is like when you played with Play-Doh when you were a child and you were like, it's a pancake. And everyone's like, sure, kids, go by play by yourself. Just me? Okay, the size of your palm. It's good, palm size plate. We did it, nailed it. Next, place a tablespoon of cheese onto the masa and then a teaspoon of beans. Okay, like that. Oh. Overexcited. Okay, like that. This part seems tricky. Now it says to fold up the sides of the masa mixture around the filling to make a ball. Just, just want to do a good job. I think I did it. It's breaking. No, don't break. Oh my god, my masa mixture is not sticky or easy to work with. So like this. Nailed it. Now you're gonna take this ball and flatten it into a disc. A thick disc. Disc. Pervert. Okay, 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 okay. This is kind of working. Fix this, did it. Now it says to rotate it around your palms, flattening it about six times until your pupusa is less than a half inch thick. I feel like stuff is coming out of it. Stop it. Pupusa, come on, get serious. Oh, my pupusa sucks. I feel like that's good, right? Did I do a good job? I feel like that's good, yes. That's good, I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say yes. I see some of the cheese mixture coming out and some of the bean mixture, but I'm going to ignore it. Now we're gonna place our pupusa in a large oil non-stick pan and what? And cook on medium hot until each side is golden brown. Wowie, okay. All right, pupusa, it's your time to shine. Go for it. Okay, just keep doing that, I guess, until your stuff is all gone. I added more water to my masa, so I feel like this one's gonna be like way better. Way, way better. This one's gonna be my masterpiece. Just watch, I think I'm a pro now. Flatten to be a plate. Yeah, this is already looking way better. Sorry. Yes, bitch, yes. Yeah, so this is way better, but still bad, but way better. And pupusa! This is my first pupusa. Pupusa! I think it looks decent. I don't know how they're like super supposed to look, so I'm gonna say it's like looking pretty good. You kind of look like a chocolate chip cookie, weirdly. Also, I was reading the comments of this recipe and something that people were doing is like making a small thinner disc with the masa mix and then putting the mixture on and then taking another small thinner disc and putting it on top of that. You try it that way too. I don't know. Let's pupusa on out of here. 
Pupusa. We have pupusas. I also was told, move here. I also was told by this recipe that one does not just eat pupusas without having pupusa salsa. So I made it using four Roma tomatoes, some onion diced up, some water, a small garlic clove, and something else in a blender. I blended it up and then I boiled it with some vinegar and some bouillon, some soup bouillon. I'll put the recipe in the description so you can make that if you want to make that. And here's the pupusas. I hope they don't pupusa. Suck. Pupusa. Here they are up close. They look very tasty. I cannot wait to eat them. I also made extras that I'm gonna fry up when Steve gets home. Here's the salsa. I'm supposed to wait till it gets to room temperature, but I feel like that would make the pupusas cold. Nobody wants cold pupusa. This is the chair that you taste Tasty Tuesday in. You look good. It's not very chunky salsa. Maybe it gets chunkier if it cools. Oh my god. Holy shit. This is so good. Tasty! At least to me they're tasty. I guess we'll get the official taste test result from Steve, but tasty! Holy shit! It took like a long time to make, but it is so worth it. If you were having like a party where a lot of people could eat this, it'd probably be even better. Holy moly, this is so good. Oh, Steve is missing out on some serious pupusa. Thank you to all of those who recommended this dish. I'd never heard of pupusas before. I had no idea how good they were. I can't wait for Steve to come home to try. These are so good. I give them 10 out of 10. Would definitely bang again. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments and I will look at them. Possibly I will make them. But you don't know. You don't know me. And I'll see you next time. Salvadorian babusas. I've never had this before. Looks like a sugar cookie. I know, I do, right? That's what I said. It's basically like a quesadilla that took a long time. <laughs> Damn good. Yeah? Yeah. Is it tasty? Very These are so good to me. I had, I was not expecting it to be that good. Cool. Good fit. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Dangle. Dangle. <laughs>